Hi everyone, it's Neil from ECS Coffee. Welcome to 2022. Today, we're here to talk about one of my favorite super, automa super automatic brands, the Miele, Miele, however you want to pronounce it, depending on where you are in the world. We're going to say Miele 6360. Now, if you watched our channel before, you might have seen me do a review on the 6350. This is the new model. What's happened is in the last year, depending on what part of the world you're in, Miele has upgraded their countertop models. They used to be called the 5300, 6150, and 6350. Now they're called the 5310, 6160, and 6360. So if you're looking for an old versus a new model, in Canada, that's what they call them. It does seem to be the same around the world. So this is the 6360. I've always been a fan of Miele. Um, I have a Jura at home. I've had a Miele. I like them both almost, I would say, equally. Uh, I do like the quality of build on the, on the Miele. Uh, I like the product that comes out of it, and I like the ease of the user interface. So let's get into this. I have actually not played with this machine yet. So there's probably going to be some editing in this as I learn, but I've turned it on, have not done anything else. So you can kind of walk through the beginning steps of what happens when you turn on this machine so you can get yourself up and running. I have added water to the water tank on the side, which is right here, 1.8 liters. I have added beans to the bean hopper, which is 300 grams, and I have not poured milk in yet, but that's all I've done and I've turned the machine on. So we're gonna start by getting through the beginning of the machine to see how we can get it going. So before we get into starting up the machine, let's just go over the panel very quickly. Um, there's a bit of an upgrade update to this panel, so you have more uh, preset coffee selections than before, uh, you, as well as you, it looks like you have seven presets, as well as your extra button here. You've got your up and down back arrows, your Wi-Fi connect, um, your double shot of espresso, as well as your, uh, your two uh, quantity function right here. We'll get into those in a minute, but we've just started a machine up. We get to choose our language. Looks like we've got, uh, scroll down, we've got English, Spanish, French. I got a lot of languages to go through here, so uh, I'm not gonna pick one that I don't know, uh, but you can pick your language and we'll hit okay. Uh, we're gonna say we're in Canada because that's where we are. Okay. And Miele at home, we have to set that up. Actually, might have to set up the Wi-Fi. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's uh, asking us to do via the app or via WPS. Um, for those tech people, WPS, I don't know. I sell coffee. So let's do it via the app since I've downloaded the app. I've got it open right here on my phone now. Kind of pop that in there, just opening up. Okay, it's asking me to select my location in Canada. I'm gonna have to log, I'm gonna have to register. Okay, so after about 30 minutes of frustration, um, hooking up the Miele at home app, uh, did not work on my phone. I have a Google Pixel 6, but my cameraman, I have a five, sorry. My cameraman, uh, my son Jack, also has the exact same phone. It did work on his. Was a little cumbersome to set up, not gonna lie to you, because when, you, when I originally turned on the machine, it asked me if I wanted to set up the, uh, the, the, mobile, the, the Wi-Fi app, and I said yes, but then in order to do so, you actually have to finish the setup of the machine to get into the programming. So my suggestion is once you go into the initial setup, once you turn it on, uh, say skip for the, um, for the setup the meal at home um, and set everything else up. That what comes next is, is water hardness. And then it asks you to go, if you want to go into echo mode or expert mode or performance mode, which I'll get to later. But uh, I, I recommend skipping it when you first turn the machine on, get to um, everything else and then download the app and, and go that way. So the neat thing about the app is that you can then order drinks from, from the app itself, um, but it, it's only a one-time thing, which kind of makes sense. So what you do is this little button here, you press that, you see it's lit up, it's the Wi-Fi button. You, you know, you can go to bed that night um, uh, and you can then order your drink but from your phone. Uh, couple of things, the machine will turn out after, after nine hours, so you have to make sure you're not sleeping more than nine hours and also, you don't want to leave milk out all night. So ideally it's better for just for coffee drinks. Uh, and you know, well, why does it only work once and then not work again? Well, you're going to have to go to the machine to grab your drink. So the theory being, um, you go to the machine, you grab your drink, and then if you want to do it again, you would, you would hit another one. So it also stops, I think, people from, uh, from having multiple beverages, machine trying to read multiple beverage. Not as good as the, uh, the Jura or the Euro One uh, uh, app that, that's out there. Uh, I found that much easier to set up, but, but overall we're here now. 
It does exist. I'm told you can use Alexa with this as well. Um, I am not going to do that because we actually don't have an Alexa at the office, but I am told you can use Alexa. I imagine it's very similar. You need to press the button uh, to have that going, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So anyway, let's get into the machine and what's different about it, and uh, then we'll get back to making some of these drinks to get you guys going. Uh, as for the one thing I didn't, I, I did mention that, that you can set it for nine hours. Uh, the default time is 20 minutes on echo mode. Uh, echo mode will turn the machine off after 20 minutes, but there's different modes we'll get into. But uh, I'm told you can go to nine hours, so just, just a note on that. So let's go over the, uh, the features of this machine. We're gonna go over the outside first. 1.8 liter water tank. We have a 300 gram bean hopper uh, on the top here. Uh, we also have a bypass chute for ground coffee right on top here. We have a new and improved uh, milk uh, functionality on this machine. You notice there's double tubes, I'll get to that in a bit. This machine has a 10 puck, uh, used puck container. So you get 10, uh, and this is your drip tray here. Uh, like all the melees in this line, you've got the door on the side, Just turn this way, where you then have your brewing mechanism. You can see that right there, and you would take that out once a week in order to clean that out. 300 grams is 12 ounces. Uh, most coffee, craft coffee bags are coming in 12, which is 340. So a pound is 454, so we're using our 88 mile per hour. Uh, doesn't quite fit the whole bag, but it is pretty nice, and it is, it is flat with the top of the machine, unlike some others that sit up, which gives you that, uh, that, that uh, counter height, or sorry, the cabinet height issue is, is resolved with that. Uh, and we have a, a warming cup here uh, on the top as well. So we're gonna go through the, the main menu get back here no, okay okay so let's go through the the added buttons that are different from the uh, the previous model so you have more preset buttons so you have your espresso button right here you've got your coffee button right here you then have your long coffee button you have espresso macchiato you have cappuccino you have latte macchiato and then you have tea water. So there's tea water and there's many types of tea water. This machine, I believe it's 21 beverages that it has, uh, but about eight of them are, are different temperatures of hot water for tea. So your fruit tea, your green tea, your black tea. Um, they have different temperatures uh, and there's a warm water function as well. Honestly, I don't know how many two tr true tea drinkers um, are going to be using this for their machine. Would you spend this much money if you're that big of a tea drinker? But if you're in a household where you have someone that's really into their tea, um, you can get to the, the right temperature for these specific teas with this machine. So that's kind of neat. So beyond that, you have your, your, your Wi-Fi connect button right here, which we press as we, we mentioned before. Um, for some reason, it's rinsing. I don't know why this machine seems to be rinsing a lot for me today, uh, but this will enable you to use the app that one time. Your back button, your scroll up and down, uh, buttons when you're in the menu. Um, then you've got your OK to accept. You have your uh, double shot button. So it'll be a double shot of espresso. I'm going to assume when I press that that if I'm making a, a latte, I'll get a double shot of espresso in there. And then you've got your dual uh, make two beverages function. So you press that, you'll get two of, of the beverage out there, two full beverages. So uh, the, the additional, this little button here that's this lit up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off the mobile here for a second. So beyond these initial drinks, you've got this additional button here where you can kind of go into additional drinks. So we're gonna do that. And you can see all the different drinks. So we have uh, Ristretto, Cappuccino Italiano, Cafe Latte, Flat White, Cafe Ole, Warm Water, Hot Milk, Milk Froth, Hot Water, Coffee Pot. So those are the extra drinks. And I imagine if I hit hot water, it's going to ask me for a temperature it's gonna preheat that up because hot water typically is more, is warmer. Typically, not always, than coffee. Like green tea is not, so it's coffee. So we got preheating. And it's dispensing, so it did not do that. So we'll have to figure out what that means. And then there's your hot water coming out there, but let's just, can let's just cancel that for now. Oh, drink cancel with that button, which is a little weird. I would've thought okay would've done that, but okay. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure how to get in the hot water, the different hot waters, but we'll have a look at that in a, in a few minutes. Uh, it seems a little weird. Anyway, so when you do press this button, like I said, you get the additional drinks. 
Uh, this machine has eight user profiles, and what that means is eight different people. You can name them. Um, so my name is Neil. I can go in here and create a profile. You can there have eight. So let's just say you have a huge family of coffee drinkers, and Bobby Sue likes their coffee. I don't know why I picked Bobby Sue. Bobby Sue likes their coffee super weak, and little Johnny likes his coffee super strong, uh, or his cappuccino is super long or, or short. Um, they can put their name into a profile, create beverages, customize just for them. So when they use their profile, it's just set up for them. So that's, that's what that's about. So let's create a profile. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to create a profile. And then let's just call this one, we're going to go down. I'm going to go over. Oh. I'm having trouble here with this. ABC, there we go. Oh, ABC, OK. So we're going to call this one, let's call this one Jack. Now I'm using, I'm using uh, my son's name here because it's easier to get to than mine. I think Bobby Sue is a better option. You should, you should write Bobby Sue. Bobby Sue? Uh, I know. You should take 30 minutes and write Bobby Sue <laughs> with that keyboard. So it's funny though because these, these kind of keyboards, these, these kind of things, okay, so we got Jack. Okay, so we hit OK and I'm assuming that we'll go uh, there. Is that going to give me a check mark? Okay, so now where you can see up here it says Jack. Probably should have done that in capitals. Um, Bobby Sue would be a little bit longer, but you can do eight, eight different profiles. So any drink we make that's pre, that we can program for Jack will come out the way Jack likes it. I don't drink coffee. Jack does drink coffee, so, so there is that. that and you'd think his dad works for a coffee company, he'd start drinking coffee, but anyway, that's just Jack. So, um, but you can create eight of those. So we'll go back in the menu and show you, um, and what you would do is you go into profiles, and if there was two, you would select the, the profile. So we got Miele, we have Jack, because Miele is a standard one. You've got Jack, you can create more. So that's what that is. We'll go back. Um, you can go into your maintenance mode. So your maintenance mode, let's see what's in there. Uh, rinse the milk pipe work, clean the milk pipe work, uh, degrease the brew unit, descale the appliance, rinse the appliance um, are all right there. Um, it's got a, a really neat new milk uh, cleaning system, which we'll go through in a bit. Uh, parameters. So let's go into parameters. So this is going to be where you're going to set your programming for the amount of uh, strength of coffee, how much coffee you want, and the liquid as well, and the brew temperature. So you can see we can actually uh, go to amount of coffee and we want to go, uh, sorry, amount of coffee, okay. And we want to go to the maximum because why wouldn't you? I don't understand that. Um, and I'll go okay. And then we go to brew temperature, we want maximum. Pre-brewing. Do you want the pre-brewing to be long or a short time period? You can preset that. And portion size, what that's gonna do is actually gonna brew a coffee. So let's just say we wanted to make this, uh, it's probably about an eight ounce is all you're gonna get for these machines. But let's hit okay. Hi folks, it's Neil from the future here in editing this video. I realized that I'm showing you how to set the liquid volume on this beverage. And I'm showing, about to show you that it can go up to eight ounces, which is kind of dumb using the espresso setting because you would never do eight ounces for the espresso setting. Uh, note that this espresso would probably be one and a half to two ounces on a setting, but I wanted to show you that you can actually go up to eight ounces. This becomes more relevant in a future mistake that you're about to see in a couple minutes. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to grind and brew. And I, and I haven't read the instructions on this, but I'm going off memory in the last one. I think once we get to the volume we want, we just hit OK. Your cup, uh, your, your, your uh, dispenser unit does go up and down. So you can get a good size mug in here, but keep in mind, most of these machines, the, the brewing mechanism isn't really designed to do more than about an eight ounce uh, cup of coffee. So for those in North America that typically like these giant, huge coffees in the morning that you might get, um, it's not that kind of coffee. It's European coffee. It's gonna have some crema on it. It is better, in, in my opinion, um, but it's not an Americano. It's actually, the Americano is a shot of espresso with hot water added to it. This is actually, you see, there's, there's water going through the puck of coffee the entire time. So we're going to see how big we can get out of this guy. It is dispensing. It's going to give me a maximum on this line here. It's showing me uh, that, that we can continue to go up. And it looks like if I hit the OK, it'll stop. And then what we're going to do after this, we're going to make espresso, but we're going to do the double to show you how that works. So this is about the max we can do in a coffee. You can see the lines ending. So this is about the max size we can do. So it's not going to allow me to do any more than that. Um, 
That's going to be, it's about an eight ounce cup. This is a little large, it's about a 10 ounce mug. So it's going to get about an eight ounce, eight ounce cup of coffee out of that. Yummy. So we're going to do a couple of espressos. We're going to do the, the double button, not the extra shot button. So I've got these two glasses here. And you can see I'm going to bring it down. Um, so let's hit the double button and, oh, that's not it. Sorry, that's, that's the double shot. The double button and espresso. So hi folks, Neil from the future again in post. Uh, you know, these things aren't scripted. So sometimes in going back, you realize you made a bit of a mistake. I'm about to brew two espressos, assuming that I have it on factory default. But in actuality, if you notice on the screen here, I still had it on Jack's profile. And if you remember a couple of minutes ago, um, I made that eight ounces for espresso. And so that's going to cause me a bit of problem. So understand it's not actually factory defaulted to eight ounces of liquid. Uh, that was my mistake from previous. But I think you'll get the idea of what we're going with here as I go through this. So now again, I haven't programmed the shots of these, so I don't know what this is going to be factory default size. Uh, so they might come out probably one and a half is probably standard, but you can program the size. <clears throat> On the display, you can see what it's doing. Those together. I'm gonna have Wendy pop in here and try one with me. Wendy's Wendy's just off camera. She's the rock star here in Burlington. You've seen her on some of the other videos. She actually knows coffee much better than I do. She's a much better palate for it. So I know we're we're masking, but you, can, you want to take the mask off, pop over, and give it a shot. You can tell me what you think. It looks like though this is going a little high for me, so it's I'm gonna. Just a lot of crema. Yeah, a lot of crema on that, which is great. Yeah, it was fantastic. Maybe a little more. Hold on a sec, because you know what's interesting? What's that? Is that it's doing it again, so it's grinding again. So I was, I thought that might happen. That's okay. We'll, 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 um, we'll just do it here. So when you hit two, some machines, some machines when you press the double button, it just gives you um, more liquid. So when you hit the double button, it's actually brewing twice, which I like because that's the way it should be. Ooh, it's strong. Nice and strong? Yeah. Okay. So it's actually, you see it's pre-brewing number two on here now. So when you hit the double, you walk away, you can actually put your two cups side by side um, and it'll brew. This is just very, kind of very tall, right? For an yeah, espresso. Yeah, actually it'll brew a full cup of coffee instead of uh, just giving you more water. More water, yeah. It's yeah. gonna be a much better, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that's good. Yeah. But see this espresso preset, factory default, is pretty tall for an espresso. Like that's that's pretty tall. It's pretty tall, but it, look at the crema. That's true. It's coming out so forcefully, it's causing more bubbles. Yeah, which is kind of neat. I mean, who doesn't like good crema on their espresso? But it does seem, you know, but we can set that in the parameters. You can set that lower. So very easy to do, like I just showed you with the coffee before. And it should max out, right? Yeah. I just stopped it by pressing the button again. So anyway, so that's obviously not an espresso. Um, factory default set set pretty high. Let's show you how easy it is to change that parameter though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the expert mode right here. We're gonna go here. We're going to go down to parameters, hit okay. And right, we're gonna hit espresso, we're gonna do okay. So now we're gonna do portion size. You can see that the brew temperatures are already at um, maximum and the amount of coffee is at maximum. So we're gonna do portion size now and we're gonna hit okay and it's gonna actually grind and brew. And then when I'm done with the amount that I want there, I'm gonna hit this button here, and we should then be preset going forward for the amount of espresso liquid that we get in this cup. And while it's doing it, I'm gonna try one. That's nice. Not that I'm biased, but it is our own um, coffee, 80 mile per hour. Uh, we roasted it in house here in Burlington. If you hear a bit of a hum in the background, that's our roaster going Let's just go there. So now we're preset with the espresso. That's where we're gonna get. Nice and sharp, but you can, you can adjust that on your own, however you want. Okay, so we'll get out of the parameters and off we go. So why don't we make a milk drink and then we'll go through some of the maintenance for this guy. Um, and I am gonna do a bit of reading on the water. I'm not sure for the life of me why it didn't give me all those options for water, but we're gonna get to that. So we're gonna pour some milk into our new container. 
One thing that um, I did an unboxing on this of this machine right before filming this, and I commented, and um, I'm hoping Jack can get some B-roll from that, that in the side of the machine, there was storage for the milk tube. Uh, this guy here. So this guy here doesn't have to be connected. Uh, and in, in the previous models, this, this milk tube was able to store right in the side of the machine. But then when we opened it up and we looked at the new milk tube, we realized it still looks like it, but it won't fit because now there's two tubes and they haven't changed that. So the inside still only shows one, which was kind of weird. Um, bit of a miss, uh, not the end of the world. I mean, most people will probably not worry too much because you can put this in here and it just goes in. By the way, this comes off, magnetic, it's magnetic, and you can actually take all this apart to clean it. It just pops right out, nice and easy, but let's just pop this back in here. And you know, most people, when they're not using the milk tube, they'll take this, they'll shove it right here. So that's kind of the thinking. Kind of ugly, in my opinion, to have it like that, but you know, it is what it is. What are we gonna do? All right, so we're gonna make a drink now. I, I like to do a latte macchiato, because uh, I just like the way it looks in the glass, to be honest with you. Uh, again, this is preset to factory, so eh, I don't know what we're gonna get, but let's give this a shot. And we'll see what happens. Got our milk coming through the milk tube. Neat thing with this machine is you actually can make two milk drinks as well. So you can make your two coffees, you can make your two uh, latte macchiatos at the same time, um, which, is, which is very nice for this unit. And I'll get into the, the milk tubes in a little bit, but. So we got our milk froth coming out. Beans are being ground. And the milk froth is, a, is adapted per drink. Um, some new technology in there, I won't get into the tidbits of it, uh, but they've really improved the milk system on this machine uh, for that reason. And then we get our espresso. It looks like it's a nice tall one. I don't know if we're gonna go over the top of the cup. Let's hope not. Gonna be close, that's for sure. But if you like a good latte macchiato, you won't get any latte art out of these guys, so if you're used to getting you know, fancy swirls, uh, super automatics are never good for that. But uh, looks like we're right at the top. Unless you turn your cup, you might be able to make yourself a happy face or something, but, or a bad one, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, the latte macchiato, I don't think we can get much more in this cup, but there you go. Um, nice presentation with a layering effect. I'll have a bit of a sip to make sure that we like it because everyone on YouTube wants to know. Give myself a milk mustache. Pretty tasty. I'm biased though, it's our coffee. Anyway, so that there is the latte macchiato. Um, now while that was brewing, I, I did look at the tea versus hot water thing. Again, I think it's a bit of a silly addition, but for the five of you that might be interested in this, I'll tell you what it is. I had pressed the hot water button before by going to the select drinks, um, additional drinks, and going to hot water. And I got warm water, hot milk, or hot water. And I hit hot water, came out of the spout. Thinking I'd get a separate menu for the different temperatures of hot water that were there. But in actuality, I was wrong. As I read, I'll go back to the main menu. This is your hot water button right here. I said that at the beginning. You got your black tea, you got your fruit tea, herbal tea, green tea, white tea, Japanese tea. Then you would choose which one, and it is at the right temperature for those teas. Uh, you can actually adjust those in the parameter settings as well, so if you like your green tea a little hotter, but not quite you know, black tea level, you can actually do that. So that is, that is an option. One thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a double shot. What I wanna do is a double shot of a coffee. So let's try this. What I wanna do is, let's get a coffee going here, again. Um, let's, actually, let's do a long coffee but I'm gonna do a double shot. So what should happen, in theory, is we should get two shots of espresso in our coffee. So that extra kick, we'll do that there. We'll get this guy here. And we're gonna hit along, and we're gonna see exactly how long we get out of this guy. Quiet grinder, they've really improved the grind uh, technology in this. A lot of the th issues with some of the super automatics is noise in the morning, especially if you have somebody that works at a different time than you. Um, I know at home with my grinder, if my wife is in bed and I'm getting up very early, uh, she will hear it. So uh, that's one thing. These are, these are pretty quiet though. So 
So we've got our long coffee here. This might satisfy those people that want that big, tall North American cup a little, a little more. Water container is empty. Well, it's going to be hard to brew coffee with a water, empty water container, so let's fill that up. Now, this is not the longest coffee I've ever seen, but we're still midway through dispensing, so. It is giving us that extra shot. So, what I would do on this drink is I would take the uh, parameter to make my long coffee probably around here, um, so that when I get the second, actually, I would probably make it higher and I get the second shot to top it up. So, it looks like the long coffee button is just programmed pretty low but you can program that up um, to probably around eight ounces. To get an extra shot of coffee, you'd probably get about nine and a half ounces of coffee out of that. So not gonna satisfy the big travel mug guys, but you're probably gonna get yourself a good, uh, a nice hearty nine ounce coffee or so out of that guy. I think it might be grinding and doing a long coffee, then grinding and doing another long coffee. No, it's a double shot of espresso. Is That's it doing a double shot right now or is it just doing too long? I'm I think it's no, the double shot's a double shot. I will check the manual. Double shot, but then also the long button. Right? You're not doing I didn't do I didn't do two longs though. I only hit the I only hit it once. That would be two. I'd have to that one hit two. Ah. Right. So but you know what? Let's that's a good question. Because as we know, it's new, so let's find out. I'm gonna go back to the book so you don't have to. And we're gonna go to preparing drinks. Double shot. Would you like particularly strong and around coffee? In this case, more coffee beans will be ground and brewed halfway through brewing. The shorter extraction time means that, okay, so what it, okay, that's interesting. There you go. So what just happened there is we did a long coffee and halfway through it, it ground again. So that's what happened. So it is an extra shot. It's not, it's not a, Phillips has a machine where they do an extra shot and actually they, they brew your coffee, then they'll throw a shot of espresso on it. This is actually doing it mid drink. That was interesting. So theoretically, if I was to do a latte macchiato and I was to do a latte macchiato with this button pressed, I'll get an additional shot of espresso halfway through. But again, you can adjust, it does seem very, very strong. Look how dark that is. Um, it's a very, I'll show that to the camera, sorry. That's a, it's a dark, heavy, heavy coffee. I'd probably go up in my volume on this guy. So go to your parameters, adjust your long coffee up, and, um, and you'll get that extra shot and let's see what kind of kick this has. Yeah, yeah. If you want to wake up in the morning, you know, it's funny. We call our coffee 1.21, um, 88 mile per hour. And that's our, our nod to our favorite movie, Back to the Future. Uh, what's that stuff that Doc Brown gets in the third one? Wake up juice? Wake up, wake up juice. Yeah, wake up juice. <laughs> it's very good. Oh my God, that's strong. Okay, so in learning how this, this machine works, um, what I've done is I've gone into parameters and made the long coffee button as long as possible. So this is the max length you can get out of a long coffee. And you can see from the color of it, um, I don't know if you can get zoom in on that, it's not bad. It's a little caramely um, in color, but it's still, still decent. Let me give it a quick drink. But it literally, it feels a little watered down. Now we're gonna just take the same size glass and pop it in here. I'm gonna hit the double shot button, hit the long, and see what happens. And you'll actually be able to do a side by side to see if you, do, if you have one shot, or one puck, one shot of espresso in this drink, or what do you even call it espresso, it's one grind, versus two. And if my theory is correct, we will have a much darker coffee on this one. So if we look at the screen, it says dispensing. I'm expecting, I'm expecting it to grind halfway through and do this again. Of 
course, they're staring at coffee. It's like watching a kettle boil. Just insert Jeopardy music here. OK, so it's paused from dispensing. It looks like we're going to go to hopefully grinding. Yep, we're grinding again. You will actually be able to see physically the differences between the two. This is good for those that want a larger mug of coffee in the morning. Uh, I actually really like this so far because you'll see the difference in the, just in the darkness of the coffee, you can already see it. Huge difference, huge difference. Hopefully you can pick that up on camera, but it is a huge difference. Right to the top with the crema, we are done. So as you can see, just if you just even look at the color difference on these, this is using one uh, grind and brew for this long coffee. This is using two. So you're obviously going to get a much uh, more rich uh, cup of coffee out of this machine than you will with the one. Give it a shot. Now that is good. Anyway, it's actually very, very nice um, for a large cup of coffee out of a super automatic. Highly recommend you use that double shot button. So a couple more things on this machine we want to talk about. There's a few different modes you can get into with this machine. And then I'm going to do the quick uh, milk rinsing, uh, show you how that works. So you, uh, your machine is going to have inside your menu, in your settings menu, you're going to have a few things in here. There's a, a timer and a tea timer. Tea timer is um, for when you're steeping your herbal teas and everything. You can manually set that or let it do it automatically. Uh, volume of the beep, the display brightness, the lighting if you want the backlight on, um, altitude, uh, and then we go to performance mode. And there's three different modes. There's echo mode, which means the machine will not actually heat up until you start using it. Um, that would be the, the first one. Uh, then there's barista mode, and barista mode is really if you want it, it's optimized for making um, coffee beverages back to back, so it's going to stay heated at, at that temperature all the time. And then we've got uh, latte mode, which uh, is really kind of like the coffee mode. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of reading it over my shoulder so I don't get screwed up. Um, but it's for preparing more milk drinks than, than uh, before. Um, so it keeps the, the temperature up. And then there's one more called party mode. Um, party mode, I mean, I don't, I don't know how many people are having coffee parties, but we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, the party mode is for when you're gonna have a um, bunch of people over and it's like super in intense, intense coffee drinking, whatever that means. Okay, some of these features seem silly, but that's what they are. Um, one of the cool things though is they have improved the, the milk uh, rinsing system. So I'm going to show that very quickly. There's now two tubes, I mentioned that earlier, and you just, uh, to rinse out your milk system, you just take, take it off the top here and pop it in here. And then we're going to go to maintenance, hit OK, rinse the milk pipe work, and it tells you what to do, place the valve in the drip tray, so we're here. And if you watch these tubes, you'll see what happens, hit OK, and it's going to rinse them right through. It's actually very, very easy because it does rinse the, uh, because this part's not refrigerated or anything, so you know, it can get sticky and stuff in there. It'll, it'll rinse down here, but also rinse everything, shoots water in, one tube, in, through the other tube, and out the top, right into your drip tray, which fills up. So you don't even really need to be here for that. Um, once you're done, you just shove in there and off you go. So that's the, uh, the rinsing system for the milk, which it's one of the better ones out there in the market. Everybody's trying to improve that, but that's one of the better ones. Anyway, overall, guys, um, you know, some really neat changes from the previous model. I do like the Miele machine. I, I do like the, uh, the overall aesthetic of it. It's, it's clean, it's simple. The interface is pretty, pretty simple to work. Uh, the quality of the beverage is good. The, the, the build is good. Uh, the customization is great on this machine. You, you get a lot of great customization on the unit itself. You know, all these beverage choices, with a lot of them being hot water, some of them seem a little hokey and silly, as well as having you know, party mode. It, it seems like 
somebody at Melee got, I don't know, got bored one day and said, let's add this feature. I don't really know how many of you will actually use it uh, along with the T for two tree drinkers. Not saying nobody will, but I, for a super automatic espresso machine, it seemed a little overkill. Uh, aesthetically, not a huge design change. You do have uh, the, new, the new bronze color uh, option available, more beverages on the main screen, um, and a new milk container. One thing, there is a Melee pot. You can do a pot of coffee. That's an option in the extra drinks as well. It's not a big pot, uh, but you can, you can do a pot of coffee for, um, I, think it's about, I think it's about 30 ounces. I'll have to double check that though uh, and get that on the screen for you. But uh, overall, I still love Melee. I, uh, I love the machines. I think they're, they're good product. Uh, hopefully this, uh, this review has helped. We stumbled our way through it because I, I do like to do these things as they come out of the box because I want to know how hard it is for a user to, uh, to get this going. That really helps our staff know what we're gonna be up against. And then we film it, because it's fun that way. But I've done a bit of learning on the machine today. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. Uh, if you like this video, or you have questions, please ask down below. Give us a like, a thumbs up, subscribe. We'd appreciate it so we can keep bringing more content to you guys. Uh, have a great 2022 and thanks for watching. And until next time, I'm Neil, ECS Coffee. Take care.